Oh. A full and active life of sport, everyday things 10-year-old Matthew loves. But with sickle cell disease, that fun can come with a world of pain. Oh. I mostly have abdominal, abdominal pain in my, on my right or my left side. It feels like a needle is inside your stomach. It feels like a fire is inside of you. So then you don't want to do anything. You just want to have, you just want to rest hope and hope it's, it goes away. Matthew, time for your medication, sweetheart. Around 300 children are born with sickle cell every year, and a stroke is more than 300 times more common in a child with the sickle cell disorder. That's one of the worries for Matthew's mum, who's been dealing with his illness since he was six months old. He's very brave, he's a little fighter, like I always said, and it makes me to, you know, he makes me proud of him so much. It's just too much for him. He's, he's you know, he's emotionally breaking him down. So what is sickle cell disorder? In a healthy person, red blood cells are usually smooth and round. They carry oxygen through the body. But when you have sickle cell, some cells are abnormally shaped. They're stiff and sticky and can clump together. That then blocks blood flow, restricting oxygen to the limbs and organs. 20-year-old university student Daniel has survived five strokes caused by sickle cell. He had his first at the age of six. He told me what he remembered. I couldn't push myself to do anything even if I tried. So I just sort of stayed in bed and then I think my mum found something that was strange. She'll lift up my hand and it'll completely just drop down like I can't hold it up. The next bit I remember is just my brother carrying me into an ambulance. So, you measure out like so what arm. hope is there for Daniel, Matthew and thousands of others? Doctors are hopeful that gene therapy will eventually reverse sickle cell, but it's still in the early stages of development and there are talks to start trials in the UK. The exciting thing that's happened recently is that one child in France has been successfully treated with gene therapy where the, the bone marrow is taken from the child and then the bone marrow is repaired in the laboratory, but it's hopeful that Having done it successfully once, this will then expand quite quickly to be more widely available. For Matthew, those are hopes to hold on to for a chance of a healthy life. Colleen Harris, BBC News.